All right, here now to react to all of it is Republican Congressman Rod Blum from Iowa. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. You know, we got that report midday that um, it looks like General Flynn was going, or it didn't look like someone was saying that General Flynn was going to testify against the president. What do you think about that? Do you think that's true? Do you think that's going to happen? Does it sound likely? What's the scuttlebutt where you are? Well, first of all, good afternoon, Melissa, from the swamp. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I want to drain it. I want to yeah. drain it. But uh, having said that, uh, yeah, this is a fishing expedition on behalf of the special counsel. Uh, the, the, the Flynn lying to the FBI is all about Flynn lying to the FBI. This, ha this has very little, if anything, to do with President Trump. And, and most of the uh, things he lied to the FBI uh, about occurred uh, after Trump was elected president. It was during the transition. And uh, he supposedly spoke with the uh, Russian ambassador. And, uh, and the Russian ambassador said it would take him a half an hour to list all of the officials of the Trump uh, transition team that he had spoke with. So this is much ado about nothing. And I, I'm, I am confident there is zero connection uh, of this with uh, President Trump, particularly if we go back to the reason for the special counsel, it was to look at collusion between the Trump campaign and the president himself yeah. and, and, the, and the Russian officials during the campaign. Okay. This is all about the, the transition team. I, I want to talk about taxes because money is very important to all of us here on this show. A tale of two tax plans. <laughs> the Senate is poised to pass their version of the GOP tax bill with a vote that is expected as early as tonight, leaving Republicans with their next hurdle, which is merging the Senate bill with the House passed legislation. So what do you think? I mean, can all Republicans unite behind a bill? What do you think are the essential tenets of what finally comes together as one bill? What will it look like? Yes, and uh, we're coming back a day early next week on Monday so Good that uh, we, can, we can vote in the House on going to conference. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I'm confident they're going to pass something today, the Senate, and then we'll go to conference. And I am absolutely confident, Melissa, we will have this on the president's desk. Uh, on Christmas Eve for him to sign as a Christmas gift to the American people. I, I, there's three things I think it has to, to contain. Okay. One is, does it, does it simplify taxes? 95% uh, of Americans say the tax code is so complex they can't even do their own taxes. Yes, I know the House version does that. Secondly, does it give wait, a tax wait, wait. cut? I, see, I feel like that's one of the places where it kind of fails. It doesn't seem like it's simpler. I mean, there's still a zillion brackets. We heard about the postcard. It's not the postcard. I mean, to you, what, what's, what's simpler about it? Because today, 70% of tax filers, I think we're talking almost uh, probably 90 million tax filers, uh, do not itemize their uh, deductions. They take the standard deduction. We are doubling the standard deduction from 12000 for a family to 24000 It's estimated now that 90% of Americans uh, will not itemize their deduction. And that's when you get into all the schedules, Melissa, and all the details and all the headaches, quite frankly. So that, that's probably going to encompass another 30 million tax filers can just literally do it on a postcard. That is mm. great simplification. Secondly, it's going to give a tax cut to the middle class. And thirdly, and maybe most importantly, it's going to reignite economic growth so that our middle class, for the first time in 20 years, can effectively get a pay raise. Okay. Some of the, I mean, I know that you're the chairman of the House Small Business Committee. Some of the complaints have been that it helps some small businesses, but not that last group. How do you want the bill to look in the end so that it helps small business? Well, the first $75,000 of taxable income for small business now is taxed at less than 10%. So we've decreased taxes on small business. We're allowing 100% expensing of capital expenditures, and there's many other items in there for small business. Do you business. want that passed through to go further? I mean, that's really, you know, that's been the thing that, that has been the debating point. Do you want that passed through to go down for more businesses? Well, yes, I, w I, I wish the whole tax reform package could have been bigger and bolder, but we're working with uh, budget reconciliation rules, so it could only uh, end up costing, uh, not costing, but uh, effectively reducing taxes by a trillion and a half dollars. But we did work with business groups, and we did lower the pass-through rate in the House, and I'm not sure what the Senate has in their rate, but uh, yeah, let's go as low as possible. Small businesses are Main Street businesses. They're, yeah. they're people, they're families, and let's reduce their tax burden so they can give their workers a raise and expand their businesses. Real quick, I mean, you mentioned the swamp. We want you guys to spend less money. Can you come back and spend less money after this? Amen to that. That's, you know, the Democrats say this, this, this tax cut is going to raise the deficit. First of all, uh, because of increased act, uh, economic activity, it's actually going to reduce the deficit over the next but 10 years. But you got to spend less. But, 
But, but the problem, Ronald Reagan famously said, we don't have trillion dollar deficits because we tax too little. We have trillion dollar deficits because mm. we spend too much. I am with you a thousand percent in that, Melissa. We okay. need to get spending under control next year. Get it under control or next time you come back, I'm going to be grumbling. Uh -oh. A lot of grumbling. <laughs> Thank you, and if sir. We, if we get it under control, maybe we can share a Slurpee. Okay, I love that idea. Thank you. Yes, I'm a Slurpee <laughs> drinker in my Twitter profile. You did your research. I love it. Thank yes, you. Yes, we did. There you <laughs> You're go. You're welcome, Melissa. All Thank the best. Thank you. See you soon.